Welcome everyone. If we have not met, my name is Dr. Tony Camacho and I absolutely love supporting people who are motivated to reach their goals and live their best life. I'm motivated to help you gain clarity, understanding, calmness, and also to open your mind to the amazing benefits of vision boards. I am a holistic health practitioner, herbalist, Reiki master, success and all attraction coach, and also a doctor of psychology specializing in Tibetan Buddhist psychology. If you have any questions during our time together, please feel free to post them and I will do my best to get back to you quickly. I am so excited that we'll be spending this time together and I can't wait to discuss one of my favorite topics, which is vision boards. For now, I'm going to shut down the screen so that way I don't get distracted. I don't distract you with my hand gestures and my movements and you can focus on the topic at hand. That's coming. Now, before we get started, I have a question for you. On a scale from one to 10, where 10 represents having a clear vision for 2020 and one represents stress, suffering, and not having a clue what you're doing, where are you now? And where do you want to be? This is important. Let me take a few seconds and think about it, write it down. So as we go through this process, you're able to become clearer on what you want. Now, here's my promise to you during this session. And during the session, I will share my vision, what vision boards are important, not only to manifest your desires, but also to achieve goals. I will deliver a strategy to help you create an effective vision board that will work not just for this year, but for years to come. I will explain the science of visualization. Why do vision boards, boards work? And I will answer all your questions. I've been teaching how to create vision boards for over 20 years. Now, one of my clients, Brenda, um, she came to one of my vision board parties, and this is what she had to say. Working with Tony was a refreshing reminder of the plethora of positive choices that surround us daily. She was used to utilize them. She taught me how to create vision boards and other very empowering and practical applications. All right, so now let's get started. Let's talk about the power of visualization. Visualization is one of the most powerful mind exercises you can do. In the popular book, The Secret, visualization is described as a powerful frequency that you can emit out into the universe that's contributing to the law of attraction. If you're not familiar with the law of attraction, this might all sound a little bit odd to you, but stay, stay with me, I'll explain it. Simply put, the law of attraction is the ability to attract into our lives whatever we're focusing on. In other words, all thoughts turn into things eventually. If you focus on negative doom and gloom, you will remain under that cloud. If you focus on positive thoughts and have goals that you aim to achieve, you will find a way to achieve them. Can you think of an instance with this statement back through to you? Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. If you're having trouble, think about the last time you had a bad day. And all that you could think about was how crappy and horrible everything was. Did regular occurrences seem to get worse as the day go on? Did issues that normally wouldn't affect your mood suddenly seem overwhelming? Ralph will say that things seem worse because you were making the decision to see those things as bad rather than good or neutral. Once you can accept the idea that negative thoughts can create negative energy, it's not a big leap to entertain the idea that positive thinking can create positive energy. If you could attract one thing, what would it be? If you want, shout it out. Our attitude and beliefs create a magnet to attract events, circumstances, and opportunities to live out those attitudes and beliefs. Creating a vision board and using a planner or journal to review your goals daily are tools that can help us narrow down our greatest dreams and present them in a way that consistently reminds us of your life goals. My client, Stacy, starts to applying all these rules and her life changes. She said, he said, Tony's art of planning journal is excellent. I cannot express to you how much these tools have impacted my life in a positive way. I highly recommend this planner as an inspiration, motivational, and educational resource. Stacy has been also creating vision boards every year, and all his dreams are starting to come true one at a time. Vision boards force you to consider and examine your dreams, goals, and desires, and create a focus around the most important ones. This process of choosing what you put on your board is simple, yet extremely meaningful. Once you identify your wish or desire, you gotta find images that represent them. Take a moment right now and ask yourself, what do you want? What do you need? What do you value? How do you wanna feel when those things are, are a reality? 
Our brain is an amazing and incredible complex machine that is geared toward making us successful with every action we take. In fact, when we imagine ourselves preparing for an activity, our brains actually run through the process and send signals to the rest of the body to complete the action. Consider what happens when you're anxious about something. You're visualizing the worst case scenario and it makes your whole body feel off. While it's great to put up pictures of dream cities, dream homes, and other material possessions, it is equally as important to focus on feelings. For example, if you love Disney World and all the things Disney related provide to you, they provide a sense of joy and happiness, put in a picture of Mickey on your board can remind you to keep looking for that same spark of joy in other areas of your life. A photo from a family vacation can also trigger feelings of love, security, and positive energy. So basically, you're not just putting photos of the things that you want, you're also putting photos of things that remind you how you feel or how you will feel when you reach those goals. What's one person, place, or memory that brings, what is one pers personal place or memory that brings you joy? Think about it and then find an image for you so you can put it on your vision board. The goal of creating a vision board is to bring everything into life. That's a tall order. In order to help you start sorting your thoughts, consider what your goals are in the following categories. Relationships, career and finances, home, travel, health, personal growth, spirituality, social life, education. Take a quick mental inventory of each category and write down anything that comes to mind. Also, if you need more help, my planner, the Art of uh, Planning Journal, comes with a, a, a 21 page booklet that will guide you step by step about how to come up with ideas of what you want in each of these seven categories. Also known as the frequency illusion, it's a, it's a type of cognitive bias you, your mind creates to confirm whatever information you believe is true. Once you create a space for what you want to believe, your brain will start looking for those things in the world around you, drawing it towards you and making it a reality. In other words, what you focus on will expand. So be careful on what you focus on. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. What you focus on will expand and will come back to you. Before you start constructing your board, take some time to consider what general message do you want your board to convey. For example, when you look at your board, do you like to feel calm, inspired, energized, happy? Here's a tip. Taking a few moments to think about what emotions you want to, your board to convey can also help you decipher what images, words, and general aesthetic you want your board to have. So it's worth to take a few minutes before you start your board and think about this. Some people don't mind a little clutter and disarray on their boards. Others prefer everything to be in its place. Decide which aesthetic you want to go with and be sure that you have the right materials. Do you prefer using scissors or an exacto knife? Will a single match marker be okay for writing out words and affirmations? Or do you need an array of colors with thick and thin tips? It's up to you. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever makes you happy. I use stickers. and I know I sound like a little kid, but I use a lot of stickers and I just make it fun and and colorful and, and I also transfer that to my planner and when I create my daily plan or my monthly or my quarterly plan I put those little stickers on it. I just like to have fun with it and I like to be creative. It's another way for me to be creative but you make it your own. Do it the way you want to. If you want it black and white, whatever makes you happy. It is up to you to determine the size and scope of your board. You might prefer to just have one or perhaps you want several. One at the office, one in your bedroom, one in the kitchen, you get the idea. And you can also create digital ones. If you don't want people to see your boards, create it in PowerPoint or in the, the Google Slides or, or on your phone and whatever you, wherever you can see it. Perhaps you have an event coming up that you want to create a board for, like a wedding or a big move or a job offer, you can create boards for that. And they're just mini boards, so you don't have to have just one big one for the whole year. Just you can create different ones for every need that you want and keep it again wherever you want to. Keep in mind factors like space and surrounding the core. If you're picky about your design, you probably don't want your vision board to, to be completely out of whack with your design. And so you want to design it to complement your decor if you want to put it on your walls or if you want to put it where other people could see it. Now comes the fun part, choosing pictures and crafting supplies. Source your images from magazine, Quotes or images printed on the internet, your Pinterest board, photograph, pages from a book, brochures, pamphlets, flyers, invitations, business cards. Other than other images you will need, 
will be a board, foam core, poster board, cork board. They're all great options. And again, if you want to do it digital, you can use PowerPoint or Google Slides. Adhesive, double stick tape, or glue sticks are other great um, things that you can use to stick your images into your board. Um, hot glue gun, you could do it, but it's a lot more work and it's kind of messy. But if you know how to use one, then go ahead, use it. And you also need some embellishments. Totally optional. Like I said, I use stickers, but you don't have to. Uh, but it will be fun to have a, on hand like stickers, jewels, the, uh, tape, uh, colorful stuff. Here's another tip. For precious items or photographs, buy acid-free removable adhesive and double check that it is safe for your photos. And that way when you're not using it anymore, you can take the, the photos off and save them back to your, um, to your home. Creating your vision board is a ritual and should be treated as such. Set aside a few hours and make this a special experience. Set out all your supplies on a large flat surface like a table or the floor. Light some candles or diffuse some oils, put some perfume or burn incense. Play some music and take a moment before you begin to repeat a mantra, perform a meditation or say a prayer. Maybe even pour a glass of wine and, and steep some, or steep some tea, whatever makes you feel comfortable and happy while you're doing this. If you want, Make this a social event and invite some of your closest friends and do it all together. That will be so much fun. You can add words and quotes and phrases that inspire you and describe how you want to feel on a daily basis. Consider words like joyful, powerful, fearless, love, strong, and financially free. What are some of your favorite words, phrases, or quotes that you might consider adding to a vision board? Share them with the group. Post them on the, on the comments below so people will know and get some ideas. Once you created your board, make a list of the things you can start doing right now to live in an alignment with the intentions and wishes that you just outlined and write it on your planner. The great thing about living intentionally is that you don't have to wait for external things to change in order to create success. You can choose to feel how you want to feel right now. That being said, you cannot control anything outside of you, including other people. So come up with actions and intentions that can be performed within your control and fall under the following categories thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Our life courses changes, and so should your vision boards. Revise or recreate your vision board whenever it feels right. You might opt to build an empty space so that you can add things as you go, or, or maybe your vision board is, a, is an, entirely magnetic and therefore extremely edible. You can just pull things in and out. Maybe you prefer to set a date for revisiting your board, like right before your birthday or at the end of the school year or right before New Year's Eve. You'll be placing your board in a place that you see it every day, but you should also set aside time to visit with your board and contemplate whenever messages are looking back at you. Ask yourself whether you're living in step with the intentions that you set on the board. To reflect on why you choose those specific images, phrases, and mementos. Send gratitude to the things that make you feel happy in your life and ask yourself whether your action, thoughts, or feelings could be altered in order to better align with the future you picture for yourself. I've been working with uh, a client named Rose and she's been doing vision boards and also planning every year and it has been amazing for her. This is what she had to say. Using Tony's The Art of a Planning Journal has changed my view of success for life. It is so powerful and easy to use. It, it allows you to incorporate the principles of gratitude, setting goals, visualizing and taking action into your daily activities. This journal is incredible yielding, moving into, moving into a fulfilling life. This tool is a game changer. And what Rose usually does is grabs everything that, put, that she creates in the planner and it makes it easier for her to put it into her vision board. It's just amazing how she showed me how easy it is. She's like, she grabs her yearly goals uh, page and then she just puts it in the, and uh, goes and finds images and creates her vision board. If you want or are interested in my Art of a lot of a Planning digital journal, you can get it on my website. Here's the, here's the site. This is an amazing journal. Again, it's, I created it and it's the one that I use for my own personal use. Is, um, I, it has a goal for the year, a vision for the year, vision for the month, a quarter, and it breaks everything down into small sections and small steps. So that way every day you just wake up and you're like, hey, what do I have to do right now? in order to be in align with my goals and my dreams. 
that also includes sections for you to practice uh, the law of attraction and a gratitude section and a grateful section to improve your mood and exercise. I mean, it's a really complete journal that gets you in this momentum of manifesting. And so it is, again, I designed it because I needed something for myself and I, people have been asking me for years, well, what do you use? How do you, is it that you accomplish so much in one year? And this is, this is the truth. This is my system. And it also comes, like I said earlier, with a uh, 21 page little book of, of instructions on how to manifest, including how to create your vision board. Okay. Now, if you have any questions you'd like to ask, now now's the time. Leave your questions that you might have in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Or if you prefer to, if you have private questions and you prefer to email me, that's okay too. Just email me at contact Tony and Tony with an I at dr Tony with an I Camacho.com. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to join me. I absolutely love getting to chat with you and I hope that you learned something valuable and are now inspired to go and create your own vision boards and create your best life for this new decade that's coming up. And remember, I'm always here to help. If you have any further questions, please post them below or email me at contact Tony at Dr. Tony Camacho. And in the next slide, you'll find all the information to um, get a hold of me. Please share the most valuable piece of information you learned with your friends and family. Also feel, feel free to call me if you need support on this journey and do not hesitate to, to ask. My information is on, on the screen and I hope this experience exceeded your expectations and that you feel well equipped with the knowledge and resources and tools to finally reach your goals and dreams and all your desires for, for the next year. I hope you have a happy holiday.